What's up guys, it's Aaron Nitmar, bringing you some more Wii U modding news, I guess. I guess it's news, I don't really know if it is news, an update, whatever. I'm here with a video. Now in the previous video, I said that I would bring you guys an update when we learned some new information about 5.5.2 and the ability to um, load your mods, load your hacks, things like that, load homebrew, um, just through uh, the browser exploit. And uh, this is what this is. Uh, this information is a couple of days old, but I wanted to make sure that all of the information was out before I made a video on it, so I wasn't just speculating a lot. Um, we, I've just got the facts, and I'm going to show them now. Quick disclaimer though, 5.5.2 is still not exploitable publicly. Uh, they're still working on it, I assume, but just because I know someone's gonna ask, how do I get this to work? Not possible yet. Um, I will make an update when it is possible, showing you how to do it. But for now, all we know is that it's in the works, uh, it's just not released yet. So with all that said, let's go ahead and jump into it. So on July 23rd, GBA temp user Quark the Awesome tweeted out saying, I don't think I can stress enough how good the Wii U Crunchyroll app is. You should totally download it to watch those ads. Sort of not so subtly hinting that the Crunchyroll app and the advertisements are going to play a role in how to load up a uh, exploits, not ads, load up exploits on 5.5.2. The Wii U homebrew development team, Wii U Brew, then quote tweeted this, uh, also saying, if you're on 5.5.2 without an entry point, you should watch some anime to take your mind off it. So both of these tweets are sort of suggesting that you should download the Crunchyroll app now before it gets updated. And uh, yeah, that's my recommendation too. If you're on 5.5.2, make sure you download the Crunchyroll app right now. Um, both of these tweets were preceded um, by a couple of tweets that sort of, uh, uh, sort of suggest that this is going to be the case. The first, uh, Cork the Awesome tweeted some code saying, I'm too excited to explain what this is at the moment, sorry. Um, and then also showing a video of the Crunchyroll app, someone, uh, or he's trying to load up JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and instead of the ad loading, you get a Rick Roll video. So basically showing that the advertisements can somehow be hijacked um, in order to do uh, things that aren't the actual advertisement. Obviously, he was able to get it to load the Rick Roll video, and um, later on we'll see what they're able to do with that. Um, Another Twitter user, Aqua, tweeted at Quirk the Awesome saying that they beat him to it and the video playing shows that you can load homebrew through the advertisements on, uh, on Crunchyroll. And we can see that they loaded it and then it boots back to the Wii U uh, sort of loading screen. And then of course we see the homebrew screen um, as the final thing we see in the video. Uh, lower down. Quirk the Awesome replies saying, nice, except when I get mine, I'll actually release it. So that's basically implying that this is not only possible, but when Quirk gets it, he's actually going to release it. So uh, my recommendation for you guys is to download the Crunchyroll app if you're on 5.5.2, because that's going to be the way that we, uh, we boot into Homebrew now, because basically they didn't actually patch out any of the Homebrew uh, capabilities. All they patched out was the access point, and that's the only thing we're missing. Um, once we have the access point, we're able to get back into, you know, homebrew. We're able to get back into caffeine and SD caffeine for people who use uh, who use those. It's really uh, um, just a matter of finding that new access point, and it seems like Crunchyroll is going to be uh, the means, unless we can find um, a different way, or if Crunchyroll gets patched. So. Uh, if you're on 5.5.2, I highly recommend downloading the Crunchyroll app right now. If you're on 5.5.1 still, um, and you want mods and you want to be able to update without worrying, I would recommend looking into installing Hackskai onto your uh, onto your Wii U because that is going to be the way that uh, you can load all of your mods without even having to use the browser exploit. So, for example, people on 5.5.1 that have Hackskai and then load uh, or then update to 5.5.2 they are able to use their mods still even though the browser exploit has been patched on 5.5.2 because they're using Hackskai which basically puts the access point on your Wii U without having to use um, a separate app basically it's it's, it's, its own thing so uh, those are my recommendations if you're on 5.5.1 um, and you don't want to worry go ahead and update uh, or don't update don't do that uh, go ahead and make sure you install Hackskai, and if you're on 
5.5.2, make sure you download the Crunchyroll app. Um, with all that said, I will make a video once this is public and I'll show you how to do it. Um, it does seem pretty easy, honestly, uh, just watching that video again, um, where they're on Crunchyroll. Uh, it seems pretty easy because all it seems like they're doing is loading a video and then the advertisement starts and then it boots into homebrew instead. So it seems like it's going to be pretty easy, basic, maybe even easier than the browser exploit. We'll see. It'll all depend on uh, how they make it uh, user friendly because right now I'm sure that's just them doing what, uh, what they know, but you know, the average user isn't going to know all that. Um, but with all that said, make sure you download the Crunchyroll app. Um, I'm going to actually be installing Hexkai on my Wii U personally. That way, um, I can, I'm fine. But then that way I can also update and then show you 5.5.2's Crunchyroll exploit or whatever exploit ends up coming out first. Um, without worrying about losing my mod. Because it, then if they patch that, I'll still have Hexkai so I'll still be able to do it. But, uh, I will want to, uh, to do that. Um... I will show you once it's out. But uh, with all that said, thank you for watching, you guys. Um, this is just basically an update. Nothing really new that you can actually do on your end. Uh, but I just wanted to keep you in the loop because I know a lot of people are worried about their mods. Not only for Smash, but for Mario Kart, for Splatoon, for Animal Crossing. Um, is there an Animal Crossing? I, I feel like I read something about an Animal Crossing uh, uh, mod, but maybe I'm wrong. Anyway. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, uh, hit the like button, and I will see you all next time. Peace out, guys.